Hello, my name is Alex Kotopoulos and I'm a product manager at Oracle. And today I'm going to talk about how to migrate a MongoDB database to Oracle Database 23AI using the new Oracle Golden Gate for MongoDB migrations. You can do simple offline migrations, but you can also do online migrations of mission critical applications that cannot afford any downtime. The source can be any MongoDB compatible database that is under support by MongoDB, and target can be any Oracle 23AI instance, which can be autonomous JSON database, autonomous data warehouse or transaction processing, exadata, and other setups. This migration solution is available for free for half a year as a simple to use UI based solution downloadable from Oracle Container Registry. This video is made to show every step necessary from downloading and installing, creating a target autonomous database and performing the full migration end to end. There are only a few things you need as prerequisite to repeat these steps for yourself. You need a MongoDB source with data to be migrated. If you're performing an online migration, you need a replica set configured on the database. We currently require at least three replicas, but this will be reduced to one in an upcoming release. You also need an existing OCI tenancy if you want to create an autonomous database. If you already have a 23AI database outside of OCI, you obviously don't need that. And finally, you need a Docker compatible environment with an x86 architecture. I myself am using Podman on Linux for this demo. It all starts with a link to the Oracle Container Registry, which I got from this blog. All links are also in the video description. Here we have the Docker compatible container with a full guide. We need to log in with an Oracle account. And if you don't have one, you can sign up right here. Yep, we are signed in. Now we have to read and agree to the license agreement. It covers things like that it's free for 183 days or half a year and all the legal details. And one more thing you need to do is to create a secret key token. This is used as a password when you access the registry through Docker login. I copy the token and go over to my Docker machine. I enter docker login and the repository host container-registry.oracle.com, the same host from the URL. The username is my email and password is the token. Going back to the registry page, I now copy and paste the docker run command. This one has default parameters, but you can change settings like port mappings if default ports are occupied, and you can assign additional storage since intermediate storage is used when transferring the database contents. In any case, you need to enter a username and password for the studio login, which is also used for the Golden Gate console. Please note that the password has strict requirements. It needs an uppercase, a lowercase character, at least one number, a special character from a limited list, and should be between 8 and 30 characters long. I'm starting Docker Run, and I'm doing a bit of fast forwarding. It takes 1 minute 50 seconds to download the image, another 50 seconds to start the container. Now that the container is started, I can open the web interface. This is your Docker host on HTTPS. It forwards to port 8443, so make sure you have this port open as well. I enter the username and password that I just used in the docker run command. So now we have the Golden Gate for MongoDB migrations running. This is a web UI called Golden Gate Studio. And before we continue here, let's create an Oracle autonomous database that we will migrate to. I am now in the OCI control, and I start from scratch without a database or networking. I go to Oracle Database and then Autonomous Database in the menu. I press the Create button to provision a serverless database. I give the database a name and I choose 23AI as a version, because this is a version we need for this migration. For this walkthrough, I keep most of the defaults and I enter an admin password. Finally, I provide an email for notifications. And that's it. I create the database. While the database is created, you can go on a guided tour, but I skip this. Overall, it takes me only 40 seconds to create the database. There are just two settings to enable MongoDB API on this database. First, you need to set an ACL to limit access to the database. I add the address of my Docker host here. You need to wait for the ADB to update. The second setting is to enable the MongoDB API in the tool configuration tab. This is just a simple switch to enable, and again, you wait for the ADB to finish updating. 
Once enabled, the ADB provides you with the URL you need to connect to the Mongo API. I copy it to use it in Compass and in the migration tool. As a last step in the ADB, we're creating a migration admin user called Mongo Admin that we will use as login for a migration tool. It needs to have sufficient quota and the privilege to create MongoDB databases and collections in ADB. Now we switch to Compass and we add the ADB connection so that we have a central view of data in both source and destination for a migration. We add the copied URL and we remove the optional database name from the URL and then we fill in the username and password with a new Mongo admin account. And we're now connected to the ADB and we see that it is empty. Only the new schema for the Mongo admin is visible. We're now ready to start the migration process. We're back in the Golden Gate Studio interface and we see the necessary steps. We need to create connections for both source and target, and then we need to create and run a migration pipeline. As I create the first connection, I give it a name and choose a source type. I use MongoDB for a generic MongoDB source. On the second screen, enter the Mongo URL and login. Please make sure that it doesn't have a database name before the question mark, because we access all the databases. Now we create the connection for the target ADB. Again, we give the connection a name. This time we use the type Oracle JSON collection, which you can use for any Oracle database to 23AI accessed through Mongo API. For connection details, we paste the same MongoDB URL that we copied from the OCI console for ADB. We make sure to remove the placeholder for the database before the question mark, and we also remove the username password placeholder because we enter them in the secure fields below. We have created both connections. The next step is to create the migration pipeline. We go back to the home page and here we press create pipeline. On the first page here, we see one recipe for database migration. We usually have more recipes in Golden Gate Studio, but this is a special version specific to migration. We give the pipeline a name and choose a migration type. Offline, if you just want to do a copy and you're not concerned about downtime of applications. You choose online if your applications need to continue using the database for the whole duration of the migration. In this case, we perform an initial load, but also use an ongoing Golden Gate replication to make sure that all ongoing transactions are applied on the target database as well. On the next page, we choose the connections we want to use. Since we only have one each, the system selects them as source and target automatically. Now we are validating first the source and the target connection. It checks for connectivity and configuration requirements. For example, that you have replica sets enabled from your MongoDB if you're doing an online migration. If there are issues, you can view details in the action menu. We have completed the pipeline. Pressing save and continue now brings you to the pipeline configuration. Here we can see the pipeline architecture on the left and you can choose which databases and collections you want to migrate on the right. The not found here shows you that a given collection doesn't yet exist on the target database. We uncheck the geospatial database and will migrate the other three. We are done with configuration and are ready to start the migration. All we have to do is press start and it will go through all the steps of the initialization phase. This includes the initial load which extracts the source database's contents and restores them on the target. This takes 30 seconds for my three small databases and will obviously depend completely on size. After this, it creates and starts the Golden Gate extract and replicate processes and we enter the runtime phase. This is an open-ended period where every transaction is replicated until you switch your applications over to the target database. So let's simulate some transactions. We go to Compass and add two records to the manager collection in the HR database. On the Golden Gate Studio metrics display, we can see the transactions being captured and applied to the target autonomous database. To verify that the data is really there, let's check the JSON collection on the target ADB using Compass. We're refreshing the display and there they are, the three new MongoDB databases, aka Oracle schemas. We check the manager collection within the HR database 
and it has the same four records as the source. Now, when switch over time has come, you would stop your source application to end any ongoing transactions. You can see on the metrics that the transaction flow is stopped. After that, you can start the target database and stop the migration. This shows how easy it is to set up and perform an online migration from MongoDB to Oracle Database 23AI with minimal downtime. Thank you. Mm -hmm.